morning everyone. It is Saturday, March 5th. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, we got the old 99 V10. You can probably see it. We got our 24 foot Circle D hooked on the back. We got 14 calves on going to the sale barn. So uh, hopefully it's a good day. Um, so these are calves I weaned in September. They were really small. I mean, 300, 350 pounds. Um, I was thinking they'd be 500 pounders. I'm guessing they might be a bit bigger than that. Um, I was kind of surprised. I uh, borrowed one of Dad's trailers. He's got two of them. He's got a 20 foot Titan and a 30 foot EB aluminum. And I asked him about borrowing. He goes, "Yeah, that's fine." He goes, "Just which, if you need one, get one." You know. I said, well, I think I'll just get the little one. It's probably all I need. He goes, well, he goes, why don't you take my big one? There's a truck wash down. Get it cleaned out. I said, well, that'll work because I need to clean this one out anyway. It's terrible. Um, and, uh, all right, well, we'll be way overkill, but that's fine. And we started loading them. And we got pretty good loads on. We're not full, but they're pretty full. Um, so, uh, which is good. Good. It'd be um, that's a good start. You know, I'd rather them be bigger than smaller. So, um, but my father-in-law is ahead of me. He's got his 07 Ford 350 with a six liter in it, pulling Dad's 30 foot. And we're uh, we're just climbing, getting into the hills. We're right in southern Nebraska. Well, maybe I'll let you watch this for a little bit and I'll talk. It might look backwards, but it's in selfie mode. That's why. So. That's the plan. We're gonna. That got loud. Oh, she's pulling hard. It's a big hill. You climb about 250 foot, 300 foot in. But uh, this pickup, I'm, the exhaust fell off of it when uh, uh, they just put glass packs back on it. I wish it was a little quieter, but it's fine. It's just a cow pickup, so it don't matter. But, uh, that's it. We got some big plans this weekend. Maybe we'll get some video of that. Uh, I got my uncle coming over with his Bobcat skid loader. Uh, I'm gonna take my 72 home, my 3020. We'll put that on the 72. I've got a little Massey Ferguson that we'll put on my 3020, and we'll see if we can get a bunch of manure hauled. Uh, hope to get some videos of that. It'd be kind of fun. Anyway, so uh, today we're selling calves. We gotta get tractors home tonight. Uh, I got you calves. I had a heifer. Had a calf this morning. I haven't uh, been looking for them to have calves for about a week and finally got one this morning. So at least I did pick the right one. The one I've been worried about is the one that had the first calf. So uh, we'll get him tagged later on and ready to go. Uh, probably give them, we'll see, four or five days a week maybe, and then we'll haul them down with the cows. So make sure they're going good. Um, so here we are again. There's the old state line. I know I've showed that before, but that's okay. It's kind of fun to show. So we're headed south into Kansas. Um, I had a pair at my grandmother's place. I was grafting on a cow that lost a calf. That went good uh, or went very well. The calf was kind of sick. I don't know if he had some pneumonia maybe. Um, I gave him a little shot of Drax and some vitamins the other day. And, uh, been checking on him and now he's bouncing around the pen so it's time to get them out too we might try and do that this weekend maybe Monday we'll see how things go uh, so let's see what else just calving cows it's been going pretty good um, since we moved the cows down to Kansas where I calve at I haven't lost a one I've had good luck uh, I ended up grafting there four of them one two three four 
and every calf took every cow is doing good um, that makes me feel good I that's kind of a little bit of risky business sometimes but it uh, it's gonna work out good so um, a little I guess light in the darkness would be a way to put it so uh, but no we're gonna do that uh, I'm getting geared up thinking about doing a little farm work um, I think we get the manure hauled. We'll see what the weather does maybe this week. I might hook the 516 case plow on a 7210 and plow some ditches in in an alfalfa field that are terrible. And uh, if I do that, we'll get the 750 drill out and we'll drill some oats or something in there to use them. So, uh, use them up. But, so, get the, and get the what I plow down, held down, so it won't wash anymore. Hopefully it won't. Um, I'm thinking, I need some ideas. If anybody's got any, I'd take some ideas. That alfalfa field, there's about half of it. It's got a lot of grass in it and it stands really thin. I'm thinking about either drilling oats in it uh, and having oats alfalfa and see what happens. Or my other thought is take the first uh, cutting off early, say the 20, 15th of May, usually the 20th, 25th of May, so a little early, and then uh, drill sorghum sedan in it, you know, and use that to boost my tonnage, but use the alfalfa to have some high quality stuff. And if I do that, I'll probably wet wrap all of that for silage um, as I put it up, um, one for weaning calves, and then use it for cow feed and stuff. Um, I also think I'm going to try and, because of that, is really thin and I want to do something other than having a foxtail in it. Um, I think I'm going to plant 20 acres of alfalfa here in a few weeks. Probably going to shoot for the 10th of April. Uh, get that done and then get ready for uh, soybeans. I'm probably going to do soybeans first this year. Been wanting to do that for a long time, so I think we'll do that. And then we'll do corn and milo at the end. We'll probably do. Uh, sorghum sedan and stuff between the corn and the grain sorghum so uh, it's going to be kind of a fun year looking forward to it i think um, i always liked growing hay i think i'm probably going to be geared more towards that even though the grain prices are really good um, i keep having guys asking about buying hay um, even now i could I could sell out of hay. I don't want to. I mean, I think I'm in a good spot with grazing stuff. Sorry, that's probably terrible quality. I'll quit being lazy and actually hold the camera. So, um, anyway, some thoughts on that whether I put the sorghum in there. And it'd be a, I think the sorghum I'd use a BMR and a brachytic dwarf. Um, I think I'm going to do that because the nodes are closer to the ground. You can cut it a little shorter. Uh, you get faster regrowth that way, and then you get the. Uh, alfalfa get the tonnage out of it so um, I don't know just talking thinking trying to decide what I want to do um, so I don't know otherwise I thought about I got access to spring barley or spring triticale I could put that in the alfalfa too um, let's see what you guys think I think the sorghum will give me more tonnage with the alfalfa and give me good cow hay even good calf hay as far as that goes um, but, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so I wasn't going to, I was only going to have 20 acres of sorghum and oak, well, and I got uh, the triticale pea mix. I'm going to put some of that up for hay, so I was just going to have that and then replant it to sorghum sedan. And I sold enough hay to neighbors and had enough commitments already for this summer. We're going to plant another, at least 40 more acres of sorghum sedan as a primary crop, and then on that field... That I was going to plant it where that uh, peas and triticale and stuff is. I'll plant that to alfalfa, interseed that, and use that as a nurse crop. Uh, so we'll see. I might might plant more than that. Um, I don't know. Seems like I this year even I put up a bunch of hay for me. You know, a bunch of bales. I was worried about getting rid of it and it's gone, and then some. So I mean, I got really good hay equipment. You know. My grain equipment's fine, but the hay equipment's in better shape. It's newer, so ooh, ooh, ooh. calves are moving around, getting a little wiggly. So we'll back her off a bit.
but uh, so no, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, trying to figure out what I want to do for sure. Uh, I got I mean, corn and Milo are going to be the big crops this year. Uh, soybeans, I like. They make a good rotation. They're not my favorite crop. I, they're just something to do. I mean, uh, and they work good in this area, so kind of have to do them. Alfalfa. Too long in between. I need a shorter rotation on um, between corn and Milo than that. So, uh, but just kicking around some ideas. You guys got some thoughts? I'd be glad to hear them. Uh, I'm sure enjoy uh, doing this. Uh, I know there hasn't been a lot of action videos lately. And the bad part is when there's action videos, I'm usually busy and don't want to do it. But I don't want to stop and do it. I'm kind of impatient like that sometimes. But I'm going to try and do a better job of that this summer. Uh, explain more what I'm doing, why, what I'm doing. Uh, maybe it helps somebody, maybe it don't. So maybe it helps me. That'd be a bonus. So, um, But that's... That's about it. So we're just down the bottom they call it White Rock Creek. So, but I can see, I don't know, you probably can't see that far, but that road, um, well, you can see there's an elevator clear down there. That's where we're going is that elevator. And that's probably 12 to 14 miles down there yet. So that's kind of a neat view. Uh, got some cool stuff like that once in a while. Snow's all gone. That's a nice bonus. Um, the ground, never really froze so it's soaked in we've got some good moisture to get started I'm excited about that so uh, yep so that's probably the plan uh, we'll get some videos of hauling manure this weekend and, uh, we get to doing some dirt work and stuff next spring or next week maybe we'll get some videos of that um, I've been kicking around the idea it wouldn't be showing much but I'll probably do a video someday when I'm working, which basically is driving around, either hauling seed or seeing customers. Um, I really don't want to show any customers. Don't want to, you know, don't want to invade their privacy. I guess is how I put it. So um, it'd be boring. It'd be just like this, me driving around. So there's another shot of the old Circle D on the back. So. Nope, that's about it, so we'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.